Um, I read an article, a couple of them, these got sent to me whenever people found out that you're coming on every Tuesday that I have to ask. Uh, what's that? What's that, his hands? I'm just talking to Aaron. Yeah, keep going. I just want to know about the alien thing. You, so everybody tweeted me because you and I share very similar views on a lot of things. It sounds like uh, Ricky Gervais, The Office, Life, dropping dime socket signs, and by the way, UFOs. I am all in. This was a big story in your life because I get tweeted it probably I don't know 15 times a day. Ask him, ask him, ask him, ask him. What is your UFO experience? This is unbelievable. I'm every night I go out looking for one. Literally, I'm always like, ah, come on, let me see some. Let me get it. Let me get it on camera. Let's have a night together, you and I. You gotta, you gotta call him in. Did you not watch uh, CE5? <laughs> what do I gotta say? I, I want Bigfoot hunting, and they told me just to yell as loud as I can. I want <laughs> Bigfoot hunting with a deaf guy. By the way, <laughs> Bigfoot hunting is like 90% audio, so going with a deaf guy is a problem. But if you want to tell me how I can call in an alien, I am here for it. That can't be a real story. Real story. He was in the hills of Georgia. He had Confederate flags all over him. It was kind of a sketchy situation. We went out into the woods. They had a Bigfoot collar. We didn't see shit or hear a damn thing. And the deaf guy has never heard a thing. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the UFOs. Can we please? There's a, there's a documentary called Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, I believe. It's it's about this organization that came out during quarantine that goes out and does these like uh, circles where they call in UFOs. And they have video of it and all these different things. Anyway, long before this happened, 15 years ago, and I told the story on the Nerdist podcast with Pete Holmes, comedian friend of mine, um, but I told a story about how I was in New Jersey with a teammate of mine, Steve Levy, and Steve has been asked, to, after I shared this uh, on the podcast five years ago or so, he's been asked to verify my story, and thankfully he did. Um, Steve. But it was him and his brother at their house in Jersey, and in uh, we saw a, a crazy thing in the sky that uh, filled up most of the vantage point that we had. Uh, it was a snowy night. It was orange and moving in the clouds from uh, from left to right. And the bizarre part that associated that was attached to it was that after it went out of sight and we were frozen, looking at each other, wondering what the hell just happened. We about thirty seconds after that, we heard fighter jets. And you know if you've seen a, f a flyover or you watch Top Gun or you've you know, oh, yeah. been to an air show, you know what that sounds like, the sound of a plane zipping by. Um, it's un you know, undeniable. And there were three of them that seemed to be chasing whatever this was. Oh, my um, God. I'm so jealous. And after that, I really got into researching that because we had this story that we couldn't explain it wasn't in the papers the next day that wasn't in the papers the day after that that was never really talked about and so it was just something that i definitely got into and was interested more in and done some research over the years uh had some other interesting experiences as well but that was probably the most uh vivid and uh expansive uh interaction that uh never got uh, talked about or explained. What are those other interesting experiences? Well, that's for another time, Pat. No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a man wow. who has, I'm so jealous of this. I won a Super Bowl, I'm so jealous of this. A man who is potentially the best human to ever play the position he plays in the biggest league in the world, and a man who has seen a UFO in fighter just Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah! Thank you, man. Thanks for those exclusive stories that we won't hear ever. Have a good one, bub.